Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play. We are of course once again on Kallen, a romantic coastal retreat. As you can see here we're working with tons and tons of like white and blue as well as some pink. Um, and if you haven't seen this island before, this is kind of the area that we were last working on. It's supposed to be like an outside cafe and the villagers living here are Flurry and Tutu. Flurry is kind of supposed to be the owner of the cafe. She kind of runs it and also like runs, I guess, the bakery. Um, and Tutu is kind of like her big sister and she also kind of helps out, but she is more into like dancing or like dancing is her hobby, but she also works in the cafe. And I also kind of want to work on the lake today, which I think will be next episode. But before we get to that point, I thought it might be fun to actually work on an interior. So we're going to make our way over to resident services because I do have the DLC. We did actually play through it. Um, in case you're interested in that, the entire DLC playing was also part of the Let's Play. Um, and so we're going to go to the resident services and talk to Nook because we can customize her house and then hopefully add a bakery as well as a little like apartment for her. Let's see. Okay, so let's talk homes. I should have enough money to do that. I'm actually not quite sure, but um, let's see. A residence home, please. Uh, that will cost 9,000. Okay, how much do I have? Oh yeah, 35,000. Let's go. I can do that. And we are going to talk to Flurry. We actually haven't customized anyone's home apart from Gala just yet. So we've got a couple of those uh, customizations coming up. I'm actually kind of excited though, because we do have like a storyline for everyone, like for Flurry, it's the little cafe and bakery. So we have like a little theme going on for everyone. Okay, we are definitely gonna get started on the interior. I think the exterior I'm actually quite happy with. Here is Flurry's home <laughs> with the hamster and the pink and the hideous music. Um, although I think she doesn't, oh, she put down a little dish I think that we gifted her at some point. And she kind of, uh, yeah, got rid of the music player. Okay, I will put on a little bit of lo-fi music and then we're gonna get started on this. So first things first, I think I have to move myself, my camera over to the left. So let me do that. There we go. That way you can also see the items that we're working with. And then I think the other thing I just quickly wanted to check is my custom designs because I'm pretty sure that I got a couple of custom designs for like interior decorating. Uh, we also have some hearts that we could use, some sea creatures. Actually, these are quite like coastal-ish, although they're more like a kid core coastal. Okay, so obviously we've got a ton of flowers that we could work with and a few uh, like fabric codes. And then here we go. So these are like some of the codes that I think I want to use in a couple of places. Uh, if you're interested in any of these, most of them are on my website, sparksby.com slash Callen. Or if they're not on here, they're going to be on my Pinterest, which both of those, my website and my Pinterest and the Pinterest board for this island are going to be linked down below. So make sure you check that out in case you are interested. Alrighty. Okay. So we technically have the option of giving her like a little bit of a door um, or like a window. We'll see for now. We're just going to get rid of everything. And we're going to get started with the basic layout. So my plan, I want this to be kind of like a bakery or kind of, I guess, like an interior to the cafe, not necessarily with any seating, but maybe this is going to be where she kind of like bakes her, her stuff. You know, this is where she um, actually has like a counter. So that'll be kind of the most important is to do a counter space. Um, but then at the same time, I want this to also still be her like actual apartment. So we're going to have to make room for her bed and for like a little living quarter type of situation, I think. Um, okay. So this is counter number or counter option. Number one, uh, we could also go with wooden, which I've, I think I've done before, or let me see the options, uh, with this one right there. So the counter table, this is kind of the one I thought about because this one is quite nice. Or there's also the fully white one, but this one almost looks like, I don't know, marble. Actually not marble, but like stone. I feel like I don't like that too much, but I really do like this one. Uh, and it gives us a little bit of a softer vibe. So let's just say she has like a counter space kind of like this. And then there's going to be like a few baked goods. And um, as, as like the player, we're going to be fully able to walk here uh and also we want we still want flurry to be able to walk here so we're, we're gonna have to keep that in mind um all righty 
good start i would say good start i want to check this one also okay the cover counter is also a nice option i'm probably going to change her like wallpaper and stuff as well okay well i kind of do like this counter option i need to kind of check maybe if i can use like a partition wall or something to close off a bit of the space for her apartment all right we're gonna add a little pillar on the side and then i'm gonna check if these actually hold on if these actually work without any gapping oh they do because that's quite nice these actually go all the way up to the counter so i feel like it'd be super cute if we get to have the counter in some way with like these pillars and then from there there's going to be like a yeah there's going to be like a bed behind it maybe just enough that you can i don't know if that's going to look weird so that you can walk here you know and then we're literally going to close this off with a wall kind of like this probably not on that side just because of the window you know but so it's kind of like that and then maybe we can put down we need some type of hanging something or of course this could also have this could have a bit of other stuff okay hold on how much space is that that way we could just create like a fake wall in here okay it still also glitches with the window this is only one space and then back there maybe i'll put down an item just to kind of understand the spacing here Okay, this is currently like two and a half, so we can also just move this over like that. You know? Yeah? Maybe that'll be fine. And then and then we... I, I actually don't know if it will be. <laughs> She's not going to be able to walk much, which I feel like that's not going to be great. Um, but let's just kind of pretend this is the way to go. We're going to put down those... Um, oh, I like this one, the ranch cupboard. Um, and I also wanted to see, I wanted to see these here, the tension pole rack, because these are quite cute. And especially they do come in like the colors that we need. Uh, like they come in blue and they also come in pink. She is not going to be able to walk here though. Yeah, because like I will be able to, I can squeeze through here. But that's kind of it. <laughs> that's kind of it, which, which might be fine if, um... We still give her enough room to walk over here. I kind of want to try it out. So let's say this is going to be like a little kitchen ranch board thing. Or do we think maybe this sh it should be like a sideways type of thing, you know? But then I don't I don't think that's going to give us more um more room necessarily for her to for her to walk around okay and then the other thing i want to see is if i can put like a kitchen something here yes so kind of like that in like white probably white or blue and same thing for this okay not the biggest fan of the kitchen counter just to kind of complete this look and you know see this fully from the front i mean complete this look is i guess yeah, not really, but we're going to put like a pattern on this because I kind of imagine the drapery. That'd be nice to kind of make the wall a bit more interesting from the front there. Uh, maybe even like something like that. It's kind of blue. The outside of this is very pink, so I don't know if we should go for this much blue. Okay, and then let's see how much room that is for like an actual bed situation. <laughs> it's going to look so crammed and not cute though, isn't it? Because, like, if I were to put a big bed like this in here, like, you're just not going to be able to walk at all, you know? Okay, what if it's only... What if it's only one like that, and we just bring all of this... Oh, wait, okay. We, I'm going to have to remove some stuff. We bring this entire stuff a little bit further to the side, or we kind of... Bring this more, like, front and center... Would this be enough room for a wall? No. I just kind of wanted to have this like bakery vibe, but then still be her own apartment. You know what I mean? So that's kind of, I feel like that's making this really hard. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be onto something now. How about, how about 
We're n- we're gonna need to test this, right? Because I I do want her to be able to walk around. And villagers, like we, our characters can squeeze through things, but the villagers can't. So we need to kind of look at that. We need to see if that works. Okay, okay. I, I kind of, I, I can see where I'm going with this, but this way you would have to, like, you'd be able to see the, the apartment in the back, which is also not really my intention, you know? For her to be able to stand behind the counter, it would have to be kind of like this, which still does not make the entire room situation any better. I feel like this just makes it worse at the end of the day. Okay, if it is like this, and we move, let's say this partition, it could also be like a little sign or something just indicating the bakery stuff. But if we move that over there, and then is there maybe like a little partition wall or something that we could put up here that kind of works the same way, like this one maybe? I feel like that's not enough. I just, I just feel like that is not enough. Um or the, the wooden partition. And then her bed is just kind of towards the back of this or something. This is just gonna be all kinds of not cute, isn't it? I mean, her bed could kind of just be here behind that wall by the window. You know, so that one is private more or less. We could even put a little stool here and then this view, we could just maybe pretend or like try to make both views kind of cute. And then what we'll do, I just accidentally put another wall in. What we'll do instead is we will create a little kitchen back here. So you can kind of see her like workspace almost. You know what I mean? Maybe that's better. I also definitely want to change her like um, wallpaper and stuff. And then I'm going to try to make it look more like a bakery. So I think we need something like oven, oven wise, oven like. Oh, does this come in a good color? Oh, this comes kind of in a white. Oh, I don't mind that. I can't open it because it's a pizza and she's supposed to be making like cupcakes and stuff. But that's not so bad. And how about this? Okay, the stoneware kitchen kind of maybe not because just the, the the red brick is too much. I don't mind this one though, the one that we currently have. I think that one that one is quite cute, and I feel like the clay furnace is too rustic looking. I know that's a little bit funny with this this being the bed right now, but this can also still change and be like a little bit more romantic looking. Let's try to do that. She's gonna get some soft pink bedding, I think. Um, and then, yeah, we could either embrace the wood a little bit more, add more pink, or just, uh, I don't know, balance the different colors a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's not so bad. Maybe that is not so bad. Let's put the oven kind of in the fo in focus. So either like this or kind of like that, depending on what's going to be next to it. And then I almost want to try... Okay, no, this isn't great. I did kind of like the idea with the, um, the tension pole rack or this one also. This one also could be put there. Different wallpaper, you know? I'm also starting to think that maybe we can do an accent wall, put some brick in the back there. We're gonna give her a different flooring. We're gonna give her a darker flooring, I think. Either something like this. Oh my God, look how immediately... Is that just me or does that immediately look cozier? Cause I think it does. I really think it does. I think we also should use this interior flooring for for someone or this one. The, the cool paint and the cute paint are perfect for this island theme. Uh, actually, I might see these with uh, Tutu. I might see these with Tutu. I also love this one. Um, I feel like that's just a little bit too much. Maybe this is going to be Dotty. See, I'm not going to remember any of the stuff, but I feel like this is giving me like slight Dotty vibes with like a yoga sporty moment, you know, trying to like connect to 
to her like her body mind and soul and stuff like that i feel like that that's the vibes that floor gives me for some reason <laughs> and then you know we could also go for something a bit more like a stone or like actually kind of like a kitchen floor in that sense but because she's still flurry and i think she would still love like a very cozy interior i think we're gonna give her some some wood flooring i actually didn't mind this one here i thought this was quite quite cute okay okay that's not enough space now how about if there is because if this is like a rustic kind of background moment right that could just be that could be that okay we can still make all of these different colors I this is this is hard like Figuring out the layout is one thing, but then once you have, kind of trying to figure out all the different colors and combinations and variations, that one's also quite tough. And I think I want to give her like generally a more romantic looking wallpaper. Which one was the one that she had that she came with? Okay, the beige blossom wallpaper. Okay, not bad, not bad, but I think this is weird in combination with like all the other stuff that I've chosen so far. Namely, kind of, I mean, also the back uh, wallpaper. That one's kind of, kind of weird. Okay, well, there's pink. Obviously. <laughs> you can tell that I'm, yeah, very impressed by that. Okay, pink, no. I'm just going to select, like, everything that's pink or looks even remotely romantic or something. Pink stripe wall, not really. Pink flower print wall. It's a little much. I think if that wasn't so out there, maybe. White delicate blossoms wall, okay. A little bit too dark, a little bit too dark and rustic. And then here we are again with that one. Or the blue one. Also not quite it. Or pink blossoming wall. Here's the pink quilled wall. I don't really like any of these. I do not really like any of these. Question. Can I also use custom? Couldn't I use custom designs as wallpapers? Wasn't that like something you could do? Place on wall. Place as is. <gasps> oh, I see. But you don't have windows then. Okay, never mind. Not having windows is not an option. Or should this be the general and then we'll have a different accent wall? And I'm also not sure if I'm missing anything. Or maybe this one. This one and then we'll go with the brick one as an accent wall. But then we'll definitely do these a bit differently. This will be this will be either white or actually no what I don't like I don't like the horizontal stripes with like the vertical board wallpaper thingy but these could all be white in general better 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 and then maybe this is also going to be white okay yeah i think i like that a little bit more um we could also make these here pink pale blue oh and then this these i just got on my Encanto theme island because I was like, that actually kind of looks like a dark, like a, what is it called? Teal, I think. Uh, I don't really think that's too blue, really. And pale blue, same thing. I think that has like too much of a turquoise tint. What about wooden pillars then? Wooden pillars might also work. This is already the lightest wood color there is though. And would have them, we'd have them in a couple of different spots. I feel like... This might be a slot, unless we kind of move this over, maybe. I do kind of like that being there, in that spot right there. And then maybe the kitchen could move over here. Okay, wait, she couldn't... This is good kitchen placement, but she couldn't move anymore. So that's going to be a no. And then I guess I don't want to move it, like, halfway under the window. Right? Or do I? Not my favorite, especially because of the shelf moment. It also might not be the the like worst though. Okay, I have a question. 
What happens when I want to put something on the wall there? I've got a couple of different options now that I'm looking at this. Option number one that I thought of initially, what if we place a pitcher plant? See, it never goes like in the center, obviously, but then this isn't like a good placement really. So I feel like that gap there just doesn't make sense. Uh, what about broom and dustpan? I feel like these are very essential for a bakery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see you see my you see my issue. <laughs> okay, well, I do want to use them. I'll just keep them here for now. I do want to use them, but that's not going to really work. That's not bad, but it still kind of makes me think that something should be here. Okay, what about What about removing that? And we're going to add more pillars. And 700 pillars, you know, pillar core. Why not? Because it doesn't look great. That's why not. <laughs> that is why not. Okay. Other idea? Putting the oven in the corner? I like it. I like it in that frame. I can't even lie. It's... I think I want to make that work. Or possibly there, too. I feel like maybe it shouldn't be so close to her bed, though, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, um, before I forget this and before I put something else in the spot, I want to try and grab a either a Moroccan footrest or a simple stool and put that right... Eh, almost, almost right there. Cause you know that could be that could be like flowers or something like something cutesy for her bedside but that could also look adorable from the front a huge wedding cake. i mean she might put that here she's gonna be showing off you know i mean she is she is handling a bakery after all and she's just a business hello okay well there's a couple of cakes i might want to look at later on but for now i was looking at i was looking for the casablanca lilies you know, and then they're peeking through like that. I feel like that's cute. I feel like that's cute. I feel like that makes this being her bed totally okay. There's a division of flowers. It makes total sense, right? Okay, I feel like I don't mind the, um, I don't mind the oven there. Um, which also now might make this possible to be some more shelves back there. But also maybe not. Also, maybe not. This is a trial and error moment. Mm -hmm. Also, don't love that. Kind of like the cupboard. I think that one's cute, but it's not really cute when you put it on the side like that. I also didn't mind it here. In that case, we could put something else kind of halfway in front of that, which could be a wooden stool, for example. And then we're just going to do the quick flurry test. So flurry could, flurry could walk here. And until behind the counter, she can't really, she can't really sleep, technically. But we don't have to know that. We don't, we don't have to know that. Yeah, because she could still walk around here. I feel like that's maybe enough. Maybe that's enough. And then I feel like the broom and dustpan isn't in the worst position either. If you put it there, there's at least something kind of happening to the front there, you know? Okay. Uh, she's gonna need an entrance mat. I'm doing things completely out of order here, by the way. Um, but I think this is actually quite normal for me when it comes to my... Yeah, I don't want to give her the bakery one. When it comes to my interior decorating, I think that's quite normal because I tend to get somewhat um, distracted or, or like one thing kind of prompts another and so yeah i do like this one i wish they would give this to us in a couple of different colors you know like a in this case a white or a, like a blush pink that'd be kind of cute that would be kind of cute okay that's too big <laughs> that's too big also might be a little bit too pink ah oh, that looks so good a chic one I don't know who's getting married, though. Why would she make a wedding cake, you know? 
Why would you make a wedding cake? All right, well, I don't hate this setup. Let's go through the catalog and kind of see if we can find a couple of other um, stuff for just like the back left corner. And I also just had this idea of like a Zen bench by her bedside. Um, or like, not by her bedside, sorry, by the foot of her bed. You know, because so, this one here would go, right? This wouldn't be here. I don't think I would want both of those to be there. So I could just put this one here. Can't go there anyways. So either there or there. Maybe there to kind of put some other stuff on top of it. And then it could just be white. Or it could have a pattern on it. All right. Um... Oh yeah, there could step there could definitely be like a covered round table or maybe a Moroccan tray table. Apparently there's still space there also. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Uh and then here's like a wooden end table or just kind of something something else is needed over here. Something else is needed over there. Um not not really like a counter table. I don't know if we should put the sink here. Should we put the sink there, but then it still doesn't solve our issue. Mm hmm. Just the size of the sink that is. <gasps> the covered counter. Forgot this already. The covered counter here is like halfway in front of the window. The covered counter is so elegant. We don't really want that here though, right? It's not bad, but I just, I think it covers too much. Now that we've established we want that big, or I've established that I want that big, like, um, oven over there. That might be too much. Okay, I want to have something like light blue on here. Yeah, 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 maybe like this. Maybe a little darker, we'll see. No bed. We technically have a bed, which I think I'm happy with. Um, I'm not a big fan of the colors that this comes in. Like none of these really fit. I've not really been able to work with the patchwork bed too often, unfortunately, even though I do think it's very, very cute. Ah, oh, we can make this matchy match. It reminds me of my own upstairs. The pillar, you know? The pillar kind of ruins it. Oh. Should this be her actual wardrobe? This could be her actual wardrobe. Ah, uh, that's an option. Okay, wait. Gonna keep the Zen bench there. Uh, and then we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking for something that might work a little bit better. We have the cupboard already. Um, a lot of these are two tiles wide and we do not have enough room for that. Uh, the serving card, I believe I tried before, and that doesn't actually fit in terms of the white. It has a slightly different white. And it's not terrible, but it's like, it's not really cutesy. It, it almost looks a little bit too sterile, if that makes sense. Um, okay, we still have this option. Still have this option, and we can put another pillar moment back in the corner, maybe. Just me critically looking at that, not being happy with it. <laughs> if I turn that into white... Um, and then add a pillar in between these... <laughs> it's not- it's not really all that great. I don't know- I don't like this pillar! Oh... Okay, pink is, I guess, I will say it's a very nice color match with the wallpaper. It still doesn't make me happy though. I won't lie about that fact. It still does not make me happy. It might just be the pink, just in general, like the pink throwing me off. Um, that is a very real possibility here. We could just create like a sideways surface like this. Could also be these shelves here. That could also be these shelves. And then maybe the broom and dustpan goes in the center there. Or it could be like a side table. Or, you know, now that I've put that there, I'm like, oh, maybe let's bring back the sink after all. <laughs> I think maybe the sink was almost my favorite option up until this point. 
Um, I think it still doesn't really solve my issue all the way over here, um, but I kind of want to try that for a second. So if I have the sink over there by the window like that, and then I just kind of let's just pretend or let's just try a plant because we all know plants make everything like 700 times better, right? So we're going to try plant like maybe a chiflera with a white pot or or this beige one or maybe the white and that's there. Yeah, that doesn't make it better. I feel like it might make this better, though. I think I might only go for one pillar and then have the plant there. Because it kind of separates those two sections from each other. Maybe this is just where she keeps it, like a collection of her cookbooks. Maybe. Um, so she would put something like this here. Actually, no. See, this is where my issue comes in again, where I don't know what stuff exists that looks good in this color scheme. Because a lot of the stuff that I have in mind is oftentimes just for like a dark green, like cottage core aesthetic. Um, okay, magazines could work, and I know that these here come in a cute customization, but they also are not quite that tall, and I want something a little bit taller here. Or we add something on the wall. How well does, like, a formal paper show up? Maybe this is her diploma bakery. Actually, kind of like that, but might have to put it, like, there. It's like her diploma, like, this person's good at baking type of thing, you know? <laughs> um, also, I want to try putting this in either blue. <gasps> okay. Or pink. Ooh, it is so not pretty. I'm so sorry. I know lots of people are going to say this is very pretty, but it for like it's pink and it has like, it has roses on it too, which I'm just not a fan of either of those. I get it though. The combination is kind of cute. I I can't. I kind of actually did like the blue one though. Seems a little random because nothing else here is blue. But maybe we can work on that a little bit more. No, that needs to stay white. Okay. What if there's something here? Could she still walk? Yeah, I mean, at least around the counter, you know? Ooh, and I also just thought about, I would like her to have... Oh, maybe we can put that on the back um, the, the back shelf thing. I want her to have the, the catch register thing inside also. I think I have that outside already, but I kind of maybe want her to have this inside also. I was just thinking, if we put that here, we're going to cover up the entire like progress we've made in the back part. Like, how does that look, you know? And maybe this can be like her, this can be back here. She has this like, she has this like back corner where she kind of takes care of all of the necessary like paperwork stuff. And then maybe this can just be like a cute little chair with something on top of it. Maybe not just books. And uh, maybe not just books, but like, you know, a flower. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go back to the stools up here and let's see what we can use. We could try with the simple stool. Maybe this is actually better for the Moroccan footrest because it kind of covers a little bit more view wise, you know, uh, or the boxy stool. But I think it's nice to maybe have something round shaped in that part right there. So I'm kind of leaning towards the Moroccan footrest because it's also quite wide. Or like the pile of Zen cushions. Oh, the pile of Zen cushions might work. Because that one is also square shaped, but again, it's kind of like wider, so it might be better. And then we could also do this. Kind of want to, kind of want to move that over though. Over though. I can't talk today. It's one of those days I set out to do quite a bit today because last week was not so great. I didn't really get anything done, and it's not like we have to catch up with work or anything. Um, you know, because we're also allowed to have like calmer, slower weeks, but I still kind of, I don't know. I wanted to, I felt inspired to kind of decorate a little bit today, you know? So, so there's all that, but then, um, it seems to be one of those days where I just cannot talk. 
<laughs> which is totally okay. We're just, we might just have to embrace it or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's attempt to go with this for a second here, right? I'm going to get out some baked goods and we're going to, we're going to try to make it all be a little bit better by doing that. Um, of course we could bring in some like seed bags and stuff also. There's like cooking tools, but they don't really work. Um, there's a kitchen scale, which comes in like a pink, which isn't bad, but again, slightly weird. Uh, might put it here, but I also think maybe this here doesn't work. I like the blue, but maybe it doesn't work. And then maybe this in brown or blue. Maybe this in blue to frame everything. There's a bit of contrast going on now. Mm -hmm. I'm still not sold on it, but let me focus on the actual items. And then we'll go back to this. Oh, glass jar. Glass jar is pretty fantastic. I think she should have a little sugar jar here. Sugar or cookies, right? Or marshmallows. Oh my god, too many good things. Okay, marshmallows versus... What is this here, by the way? No, I like this one the most. Versus... Oh, salt? No, no, no. We're going to pretend that that's sugar. Okay, sugar. Or what is it? Cookies. And she could also have fruit syrup, but I don't know how to feel about those uh, apples. Okay, I feel like if we put cookies, we should put it in a different location. If we put cookies, we should put it to the front here, right? And maybe, maybe just yeet, maybe just yeet the wedding cake. Maybe the, maybe the wedding cake is her bedside. Her bedside decoration, it's, it doesn't look the worst peeking out like that, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. We can't have something that doesn't make sense. Okay, and then this here is not enough room for like a full-on item, right? Mm -hmm. Too bad. Although, because we could move all this back. I'm sorry, I keep, I keep changing and adapting things. It's okay though. I just need to tell myself it's okay. Guess we could do that. Then if I move everything back, she's not gonna be able to walk anywhere anymore. It's the pros and cons now. Where this is just three pillars? No. No, I don't think I'm ready to sacrifice that. I don't I don't think I'm ready to sacrifice this much space. So we are gonna move this. Uh we're gonna root ah oh. <laughs> Remove the pillar and then move the bed forward, move the shelves one forward, and then this is going to be a partition wall again. Nope. Deep breath. Deep breath. See, I, I sometimes wish for this decorating mode when you're on your actual island, but then when I'm actually here, I always get so annoyed by everything going wrong that maybe that would not be better. Okay, so... There are obviously a couple of things here. We could go for the dessert carrier. We could go for probably even the afternoon tea snack. Although I feel like that's too fancy. Yeah, that's too fancy. Um, I quite like the pretzels. I've used those in a couple of different places already. And I think they're really, really cute and perfect for, for like the general vibe. Um, we could do like, I mean, the mixed fruit sandwich, the mixed fruit bagel also works. Um, again, you know, we want something kind of in the right colors. These cookies are great. These cookies are probably great. I do like the fruit cupcakes. I think I've used them outside also before. Ooh, wall mounted. Sorry, again, distraction, brief distraction. How about the pitcher plant goes here? So we've got a little bit st of stuff going on uh, on like the lower levels. And then I still need to get a couple of music pieces, I think. But what if she just has like a, a cool little music place put up here? Ooh, she's got like, we've got like nothing. Okay, well, welcome horizons. You know, so there's like that plant there? That weird or cute? I am not sure. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that towards the end. No more distractions here. Okay, she could have plain cupcakes. She could have fruit scones. 
Uh, she could have oh, fruit top pancakes. I'm going to start getting hungry when I look at this stuff. Oh, this is dope. This is actually really cool. I think I want I want to use those for sure. I don't even have that many surfaces. Um, okay. But then also the cakes. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we need we need to put more cakes in there somewhere. And the peach pie. Oh, she would make a mean peach pie. Look at how beautifully she layered that like a flower. I'm just pretending she actually made all that stuff now. Of course I am. Oh yeah, the homemade cake. All right, because this has... I mean, this has the little... Little cat thingy there. Okay, we might have to remove those cookies because I did like... I did like this here. But then maybe with salt. Sugar. Maybe with sugar. Or over here. Maybe over here. And then maybe we can bring the cookies back. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. The dessert thingy. I feel like loses out against some of the other stuff being shown here. This is the cake that we literally have outside, so maybe we're going to remove that one. Um, quite like the pretzels. Quite like the pretzels. Quite like the cookies. The fruit top pancakes. I do really like this peach pie, and I feel like this one's good because it's just, it's a little bit of a different thing. Maybe that goes here? Those are too much the same shape. Okay, fruit top pancakes, and then this is going to be cupcakes. Or do we have other cake that that works? The birthday cake? I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room to, to store stuff. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. I like the jar here. We can probably still keep cookies in it, even if it's not cookies. I mean, it, it, it is cookies, but just, you know, even if it's not at the counter, we can still keep cookies in there. Should this be flowers instead to greet people? Hide the cash register? She, Fleur doesn't want this to be about money up front, you know? She'll care about it because, you know, she has to earn money to to make money to, I mean, survive and do this as a business, <laughs> but she doesn't want it to be just about that. Or do we think maybe this is one of her showing type of cakes? And it just shows it off back there. And then these are flowers again. Yeah, the peach pie is just not great, maybe. Can this be another item? No, okay. Get rid of this stuff. And then think about I'll get rid of this one also. I might bring that back. I kind of like the frosted pretzels here. You know, closing it off a little bit further towards the side where she sleeps, but then keeping it more open towards the left there. Yeah. And then we still have like the fruit top pancakes. We've got the cupcakes still. Which are so good looking and then i still feel like we need something a little bit taller just on this like shelf unit uh which none of this really is i mean i don't think she'd have like apple jelly but maybe we can just put some more um some more flowers over there as like a, you know once again like welcome on in you know we sell cakes and stuff she's got like a shell lamb she does love the ocean probably if she lives here this could be by her bed though oh this could be, this could be here. By her, by the foot of her bed. No? Let me know. Anyone else like this when they decorate or is that just me? Is is this just me? Probably not, right? Don't tell me this, please. <laughs> uh, we can get another um, plant in front of the wardrobe as well um it's unfortunately not going to play any music in the da so i kind of never really i'm never really the biggest fan of putting music players up just for that reason alone otherwise that'd be great okay this is a plant that 
exists in pink. But that's too tall. The cookies. The cookies were it, huh? <laughs> no, the cookies are too plain. Ah! <laughs> I can't like sometimes listen sometimes Animal Crossing decorating is so annoying I really hate it I love it but I really hate it you know okay I actually kind of like the cherry blossom but then I think I'm gonna go for the um cupcakes here maybe and then let me see if I can maybe put a little round rug or something yeah, maybe this one just underneath there because that just kind of fills it up a little bit more, you know? And then it's just half a tile, which is giving, like that's just really limiting the amount of stuff I can put there um, to a couple of things that really have no reason being there, like a little fence. <laughs> I can put like a little fence option there and that's pretty much it, which isn't really great. In terms of rugs though, maybe this is something that's okay. And maybe that's fine. I kind of do like her letter there. Uh, I don't know if it's like too brown or something, but I do kind of think that that's kind of adorable. And we can make this blue. That's a very different shade of blue. No, we're gonna make this. It's a very different shade of pink also. We're gonna make it white. We're gonna make it white. And there's a couple of books up on it. Uh, and then we're gonna, um, oh, we can exchange the Moroccan footrest that we've got by her bed also. But we can make this a little pile of Zen cushions with, maybe this time we can do like a blue pattern. We bring like a little bit of the blue back in. Do we think this here works? Is that too harsh? Maybe too harsh. Okay. Mm. It's very different. Okay. I'll go for the smaller checkered ones. Maybe that's better. That's the same as like on the curtain thingy that I actually still am not really 100% sold on. Because I'm pretty sure there is this one here. So either this sign can work. Because this exists in like this wooden color, which I always think is quite pretty. Which might actually not be coastal enough. I'm... Yeah, I just always think that's very cute when I'm on my... Um, botanical Garden Island. There was something that had like a default bakery sign. Might be... Oh, there's quite cute things here. That might be these here though. The hanging monitors, and I feel like Flurry is not that... Oh, not even. Fast food, drinks, and cafe menu, but... Let's be honest, that's not Flurry, is it? I mean, you can do... You can do a banger, like, cafe design with this. Don't get me wrong. Like, these are actually cute items. But this is not who Flurry is. It could be shelves up here. We can actually maybe try shelves. Uh, and then put the curtain partition either just nowhere or above her bed. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> okay, we also still have to remove this flower here just because we want Flurry to walk around. And then I did want to try a, like um like a yucca or a monstera or something in front of the in front of the wardrobe there. Yeah, I kind of like this here, but this time probably the white one. You know, so you come in, let's go, let's go into flurry mode, kind of. You come in, you only see the bakery. You're like, oh yeah, let me grab some delicious treats. And then you're like, oh, what is that? A little bed. She has a tiny little apartment moment here with a little wardrobe, a plant, all that stuff. You know what? I think this is kind of good. Uh, one more thing I might want to quickly exchange is give her a simple stool here so that we don't have a double Moroccan footrest, even though you wouldn't see it from the... From the front so i think it'd be okay if we did it but yeah if i still have the option i might i might just change this up make this white or pink or blue <laughs> is that a weird blue touch there maybe 
Let's also see maybe this design. Or this one's so aggressive. I feel like it doesn't work in a very repetitive motion. This one works much, much better. Still don't know if that's really flurry. Kind of like the blushy pink one, I think. I may have just gotten used to that one too. I may have just seen that enough now to be like, oh yeah, that was supposed to be there. And then I feel like maybe this is better in white. Ah, maybe blue. <laughs> Am I indecisive? No, please. <laughs> okay, but I kind of like this. Um, Now the only thing that we could do is add in some more wall stuff and probably some more ceiling decor. Like for example, I think she would have an ornithopter or a bird. Oh, or she might have, she might have a little light above her bed like this or like a wall mounted one. Yeah, let's give her a wall mounted one or let's check a wall mounted one just because of the uh, window there. That might be weird. Wall mounted. It's gonna be all the way up here, you know? And maybe it's gonna be hanging light. <laughs> oh my God, can I stop and just make a decision that I'm gonna stick with? This is like exhausting me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. All right, a little bit of contrast. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's okay. And then we're still gonna have an ornithopter like here. You still can't see it from the front, but then it's kind of like, oh yeah, little friend. A little friend. Okay. Um, what else can I do for the walls? Now, we do have the music piece there, but the frame of it is my maybe also slightly upsetting. So we could go in and just put a picture frame. Um, I do like to have like a light switch usually, which I think we're actually going to put. Ooh, I've got like no room here. Maybe the light switch is going to be like. Is it still going to be next to the door? <laughs> Let's still put it next to the door. Okay, there we go. Light switch. And then we should have a clock. Maybe even this one here. The cute one. You know? You have a cute clock. Yeah. Because I think also the rest of these don't really exist in any cute colors. So there's that. Ooh, or this one. No, I think the, I think the cute one is nice. Okay, and then she came with this little f wall fan thingy, right? Do we maybe just want to give that back to her, this one, the ventilation fan? Because of like the bakery stuff, we're going to put that just up there. I think that's good. Let's put that a little bit more towards the side. There we go. We've got a broom and a dustpan. Which can stay there or move further back to where the um, house stuff or like the cooking stuff is. And then we're going to put one of these in pink. Yeah, wait, let's switch the light switch over here and put that there. There we go. And then here is like the frame poster. See, even with this design, that'd be perfect. Maybe we can go with this instead of the art or like music piece. And then back there, she will have a little mom's embroidery, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mom's embroidery might not be correct. A little macrame. Okay, wait, we're gonna move this over here. It's like the behind the scenes stuff. It's covered by a lot of things, but it kind of is there and it makes more sense. I don't know why stuff sometimes has to make sense in my head. And then sometimes it still kind of doesn't, but I'm going to be like, ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't have to, you know, it's let's just accept it for what it is. I guess we're going to pretend that that's totally fine. And then maybe she just has a little faded portrait. If it looks cute. Yeah, faded portrait, or I kind of like the idea maybe of a cork board with her, with her belongings, you know, and then she will have, uh, maybe she'll have the spa, like community center program stuff up. Let's do that instead. Yeah, so she has a little cork board over here by her bed and she kind of keeps all the important, um, eh. Oh, wait. Okay, we're gonna switch. 
She keeps that up in front. She puts up notes of people who come by. Um, pictures of past travels. Right? And, um... And then she has the, like, the weekly, monthly program for the uh, community center thing. Totally makes sense, right? Okay, and then maybe the macrame, and can we fit something else? Ah, oh, dang it, I thought we could. Okay, well, in that case, I might just go for my wall planters that I always use. Because I think these can fit into, into weird and narrow spaces a little bit better. We're going to put one there, one there. And then one like there. Hmm. Nothing is working with this area. <laughs> and every time I say something with like a lot of confidence, I'm like, we're going to put that here. Okay. Okay, wait. What about this? Just hidden behind it. And then we're going to put something else towards the front there. Yeah, because I feel like that one I can get away with just being partially behind the wardrobe. You know, she just has that hanging up there. And that's fine. And then she'll put the cork board towards the front here. A little higher up. There we go. And then maybe this is going to be joined by... Maybe this is going to be joined by a couple of wall planters. Just the one thing. Just the one thing. I feel like maybe that's best. Okay. And then lights kind of go into this mode. And we are going to turn that light down a bunch and also make it a little bit warmer i think there we go any soundscapes that we want here ocean underwater cave rumbling cheering creaking construction no chatter not really okay uh use windows that one's perfectly fine as an entry do we want to polish anything? I actually haven't thought about those things ever. We might want to polish and just bring like very few butterflies onto this one. And maybe just the chiflera back here. And maybe the cookies. No, actually the cookies can't be fresh because then the frosting wouldn't hold. None of the stuff can be can be um giving off steam because then the frosting wouldn't hold on any of these. I feel like it's hard to get a, like a good picture of this area or like this house, but I kind of could imagine this being cute in general, you know? Okay, small little butterflies there. Small little butterflies towards the front. And I think this will be it. Okay, very quick, um, very quick try. So Flurry is going to be able to walk around here, here, here and stand behind the counter. Uh, it's not too much. And truth be told, she doesn't have a workbench, which is going to maybe make this a little bit difficult in the DA. But I think I think I'm happy and OK with this, especially in terms of it being like serving the purpose it is supposed to. All right. I will actually just kind of stand here and uh, take this as my moment to thank you all for watching. Feel free to let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. I am not like 100% sure, but I do think it kind of is cute. And yeah, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of the future episodes of this Let's Play. Also, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And then once again, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye everyone.